Cynthia Rowley, designs dresses, swimwear, wetsuits, accessories, even notebooks and pads for staples. Here is Cynthia Rowley on what being a successful designer means to her on the runway and online. We're just adding furniture, home furnishings, which is really exciting, and uh, some beauty. Um, uh, and now even we're doing something with Staples. We launched at Staples, which I think is kind of, you know, I've always felt like uh, a fashion designer doesn't and shouldn't really just do clothes. It should be, you should be able to add great design to a variety of categories in omni channels and be able to give that to people and, and you know, add that to, to the everyday necessities in life and make life more colorful and beautiful. And there shouldn't be boundaries, you know? Well, I want you to talk about having broken some of those boundaries, specifically in the world of online presentation and the upcoming Fashion Week in New York City and being able to showcase your collection, your work, uh, digitally, online. I know. I think I'm really excited about it. I just doing? think, well, I mean, I've had a lot of fashion shows in my life, and it's always exciting. I love it. You can reinvent the way it's presented, but you're really not reinventing the format, you know? And it just seems It's a room crazy. with a lot of people, a lot of music, a lot and of lights. And the girls walk in a straight line, and it just seems a little crazy to me that, you know, fashion is all, it's all about the new. It's all about being fresh, and yet we present our work in the same manner every season. It seems more efficient and, uh, y you know, just more modern to present it in a digital way. It's, you know, it happens in every other part of our lives. We're buying things digitally. We're looking at, you know, millions of dollars in artwork digitally. We're looking at, you know, to buy. We're looking at, you know, everyday groceries. We're, uh, you know, it's, it's just a you know, there's no limit to that. So why would we, uh, you know, continue with the same manner, you know, of showing the collections? I just think, so we have a place on the fashion calendar at the top, you know, in a slot on the calendar, the way uh, everyone else does for their shows. And at that time, at 2 o'clock on Friday, February 13th, you click onto our site and you'll watch the show the same way that you would if you were there. And, I, and, and it's really like everyone has a front row seat then. You're really getting to experience what you would if you were there, only in, you know, a much more efficient way, I think. Everyone is seeing it on Style.com minutes later anyway, so there is no more... The exclusivity of exclusivity it has changed. Exclusivity and insider, it just doesn't exist anymore.